Yeah, I don't like this, y'all. As a matter of fact, I might hate it, which is something you probably wouldn't expect from me, but I don't know the answer. I'll tell you by the end of this vid. Now, a couple of days ago, it was confirmed that there is a Black Panther game that is in the works by EA. Not to get it confused with the Black Panther and Captain America game that was confirmed by Skydance last year. And we'll talk about that one in another video. That one's going to be co-op and I, I don't know. Right now, we're going to stick to the one for EA. Now, the first reason why I may not really like this is because one, it's EA. That's no shot at EA. I, I just don't know how to feel. We'll have to see what happens with this game. Now, the name of the studio that's making it is Cliffhanger Games. And if y'all did know, there's a person, his name is Kevin Stevens, and he used to work at Monolith Games and they they made Shadow of War and they made Shadow of Mortar. Good games, right? Yeah, I mess with those. I actually like those a lot. So I'm not mad at that. And generally, a lot of us have really liked the Cal Kestis Star Wars games. Now, with those two sets of games having in common that they differ from a Black Panther game is that in those games, those characters were original characters. So everything about it was story driven. It was the first time we saw those characters. So we got to fall in love with them as those characters. Basically, there's nothing to compare them to because they were their own original stories. Black Panther is a totally different situation altogether. And before I continue, don't y'all forget to like, comment and subscribe and check out the links in my description to get y'all some discounts on some pro controllers or just some customized controllers in general or hit up the humble bundles to get yourself some discounts on some games that you may have not been able to play up until this point the links for both are down in the description the second reason why i like this which is tied to the first reason i don't know if i trust them to make it a true black panther story i'm not saying that they can't i'm just saying because we haven't seen it yet i'm a little bit nervous i don't know that you should construct it the same way that you did the star wars games with Cal Kestis or the Middle Earth games with Talion. And to be honest, I can confidently say that you can't construct it the same way. Why? Because Black Panther, people also got to remember, is not just a superhero. He is the king of a nation that is trying to stay away from getting involved in situations they don't have to get involved with. Everything that T'Challa does or T'Chaka or Shuri, whoever is leading the nation at the time, is in favor of the nation. So if they help you save the world, it's because it saves Wakanda. There's also the fact that there's a lot more politics involved. The other characters from the other two games we discussed aren't really political figures. They they, they save people, they help people, and they protect the people that they love, you know, their friends and their family, but they're not ruling any kind of nation. And I kind of need that to be reflected in the story if we're going to be making a Black Panther game. And I get scared when I'm not sure if people can deliver that. It does say in the article quoted by Stevens that we're dedicated to delivering fans a definitive and authentic Black Panther experience, giving them more agency and control over their narrative than they have ever experienced in a story-driven video game. Now, don't get me wrong. That's sounds dope but it does depend on what it means if it just means that there's going to be a lot of decisions that you can make that will affect the outcome of the story that's fine if it means that the character is going to be fully customizable or creatable i'm tight i, I don't i don't want to see that and this game was announced actually slash leaked last year and some tweets but if it is a creative character thing i will be kind of tight because i'm like really the first superhero that you're gonna make created is gonna be black panther Come on, son. As somebody who's loved the comic books and has just loved the whole personality of T'Challa and what he stands for, it, it would be a little upsetting if it's just like you get to create a character that isn't even really canon that nobody really heard about. Especially if you can make them from other places or something. That would be kind of wild. It's like you wouldn't get a brother or sister from like Malaysia or Indonesia to play the King of England or the Queen of Scotland or something. I mean, that, that just doesn't even make any sense. You wouldn't do it vice versa either. Essentially, I just have some trust issues and I blame Sadat the Gamer who's another brother who makes content on Marvel and DC games. Y'all should check him out. His vids are fire, you know, jump on that do-rag nation stuff. But I'm just saying he was talking about this before and he was talking about the character being fully customizable or creatable. And I, I gotta say, I don't, I don't, I really, I don't know. That makes me nervous. But if y'all do go check out his channel, tell him the Yonko sent you. He's not gonna have any idea who I am, but that that's that's not the point. Anyway, and the third thing that I don't like about this is that in the article, it already confirms that the king is dead. Now, we don't know who the king is. All of us, of course, are familiar with T'Challa as being the king or his father T'Chaka being the king. We don't know which one of them that they're saying is dead for this. But if it's either one of them, I'm already starting at a point where I'm like, mm, I don't know where we're going with this. I mean, T'Chaka makes a little bit more sense but if t'challa is dead then i'm 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 tight and the last thing that i'm kind of concerned about is just that they said that 
Wakanda is a sandbox, a superhero sandbox. And if you read the comic books, or even if you watch the movies, you realize that a lot of the stuff, although in Black Panther 2 and the more did make his way into Wakanda, but most of the time, a lot of the conflicts they had were actually outside of Wakanda. Some of them were right outside at the border, which is where Black Panther would stop people like Captain America, where they wouldn't let people even get close enough to the border before they got into conflict. That could happen in this game. I don't know. It's not that there hasn't been any type of fights in Wakanda. Of course, the run-ins with M'Baku, who's from Wakanda, or Namor, or Claw, were things that did happen in the comic book. So I guess we'll just have to see what kind of approach they have to the story for this game But yeah, yeah, y'all tell me how y'all feel down in the comments And it's not that I'm not excited for the Black Panther game Of course I am And the Skydance one could be good too We'll talk about that later But, you know, I'm just not sure We'll, we'll see what happens with all that And I won't lie to y'all Your boy did have some ideas about a video I was gonna make about a Black Panther game before all this happened And I was gonna talk about how I think Insomniac actually have one on the way coming down in the future We know they're making Wolverine and that's gonna be fire But it's Insomniac Games made it clear that in Marvel Spider-Man 2018 and in Miles Morales that Wakanda was clearly a place in their universe. We had the Wakandan embassy that you take a picture of in Marvel Spider-Man 2018 and in Miles Morales you had Triple J, J. Jonah Jameson talking about how he wanted to watch the great Wakandan cook-off. So I was going to be excited about Insomniac and if it wasn't Insomniac making this game, I'd be a lot less nervous. But I'm going to catch you on the next vid, alright? I love ya. Peace. Can you play that again?